So this tutorial will showcase how you can take a small audio sample from a radio station and retransmit that same sample back to a different radio station. So for this tutorial, we're going to need both the flow graph we made for receiving and the flow graph we made for transmitting because we're going to use them both in conjunction with each other. The first thing we need to do is we need to actually have a way for the file to save because right now we're just having it we're, we're able to visualize it and listen to it but it's not actually saving anywhere and the way we do that is we use what is called a wave files sync so it's basically the opposite of the wave file source as in you are saving the information that you're going to be hearing to a wave file wherever that may be so we're going to change a couple things about this First, we're going to set the uh, path of the file, and what I'm going to set it to is a file on the desktop called retransmit. I will replace the um, file that's already there, and I will change the number of channels to two, because we need two channels to make a successful wave file sync. Otherwise, the wave set, the um, samples that are in the wave file do need to the the um the samples that are in the wave file do need to change or do need to be doubled because otherwise there will not be samples that are in it. So what we need to do is change that to two and we also need to change our sample rate to forty eight thousand kilohertz because that is what our um audio sync rate is at. So now once this updates it's gonna have two inputs. Um, one of them we're going to connect off of the multiply constant, which is just our our, um, our whole file. And then we need to set up the second part of that wave file, which all we need to do for that is set up a multiply constant, or not even a multiply constant, just a constant source, which we can set at zero. This will keep the waveform um, in check because the waveform does have a real and an imaginary part, but the imaginary part can be zero, so that all we're getting is just the um, the audio source that we're actually transmitting in. So if we connect these together, we will have both of our inputs that are necessary to um, to get the sample we need. So now we're going to pick up a small sample from the radio station that this is defaulted to. And to show that this is the same signal we're listening to, we can just slide the volume up and back down so we will hear it once it goes in. Now you don't want to take too big of a sample because wave files will start getting very big the longer you let them go on. And this goes for any file sync within GNU Radio Companion. You don't want to use it for more than just a few seconds in order, unless you have a um, dedicated amount of memory going to just saving that. So now that we have our file, our file, all we need to do is go back to our transmit tutorial and just fix a couple things up in here. First off, our audio rate was 48,000 and although that's not exactly double 45 will get it close enough to where it will be about where we set it to be so if we set it to 45 we're cutting our interpolation in half after we doubled our sampling rate or close to double the sample rate that the audio is playing at compared to the radio test so it will get back to around 2 million so the file won't sound sped up or slow down the other thing we need to do is obviously change our file um, path that we're getting our thing from is to the retransmit. So if we change it back to our retransmit block, say OK, and then play it, we should hear that audio source that we did. And it will repeat because it is a short sample.
you hear it get louder and quieter, that's what we did at the end of the video. And then we'll loop itself over and over again because it was set to repeat. So that's all you need to do for retransmitting. In the next video, we'll go over how you can speak into the computer and get a live broadcasting signal back out of a radio um, at the same time. So basically combining both the receive and the transmit to happen at the same time.